All right, uh, welcome back to another Art Time video, uh, where today we are going to be drawing a drawing. Yes, and a floor is made of floor. But yeah, we're going to be drawing the drone, a demon from the demon realm. So uh, if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe for more as per usual. Now, we are drawing the drone, which is, which is a pretty creepy looking thing. I actually could probably just like put up a, what do you call it here? Uh, oh, hey, look at this notification stuff immediately right after that. Let's, let's give it a little bit more time before we do any notifications. But for now, uh, Ruined Hill. Okay. The drone that I'm, the demon that I'm drawing, the drone, I'm going to look at it before we start drawing it fully. It's a spider-type demon that wanders around the undead ruins. Uh, the drone looks like a pus-filled cyst with fur. Disgusting, am I right, folks? It's got four dry-skinned hand legs and long, thick neck leading up to its stone-like mask, covering its face. Essentially, it's the watcher of the um, undead ruins. But, um, yeah. So, notifications, folks. Yes, immediately right off the bat. Um, thanks, Night Shift 102, for saving, uh, for adding Luna Save Sasha to your favorites, and also Sora KH217. Yeah, 217, for adding that same drawing to your favorites. All right, so, yes, uh, now that you know what this, this creature is, we are going to draw it. It shouldn't take us too long to draw this thing, though. It's a demon realm demon, and those usually don't take too long. I guess it depends on how the hell this is going to be set up. But yeah, this thing is, um... How you say, the Watcher of the Undead Ruins. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what we're doing. It's the last demon of the Undead Ruins that we have to draw. Wondering if I should actually make this more like it's facing in one direction, or what? The mask that of which I have given this demon is um, not really like that detailed. So I don't really think I'm gonna have too much work making this thing right here. But uh, yeah, this is going to be quite a simple drawing, hopefully. Matter of fact, I mean, I already showed y'all it, but I can show y'all it again. Let me see here. Um, no, 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 go to JPEG, not here. There, that's the thing we are drawing. We are already drawing this thing. You can barely even see it, but pus filled assist with fur and the legs and in the neck should be pretty easy to replicate, obviously. Whoops, not there. Not there. I'm just trying to make sure that I get the face looking right. I also kind of want to try to get this drawing done with quicker. Because I do, however, want to do a Minecraft video today so that I have more time to do a uh, mature drawing, the next mature drawing, going into the next row, well, not row, segment. Because we still have like a lot of, um, a lot more drawings left in between now and here before we actually, actually like get to any of that. But, uh, this is the, um, this is the plan for now, as, as it stands, of course. Okay, come on. I combine this. Hopefully, I can do this. No, I can't. Okay. I'll, whoops. I'll just do this then. And try to combine it now. There we go. Now I just gotta get rid of that, and now that's like that. Now, if you've noticed, this thing has a similar face or, uh, facial structure to the decrepit. You saw how the decrepit had, like... Was that really your food, cat? Did she literally brought this piece of food with her? I'm putting this back in your dish. Cat. Don't you purr at that. Why are you bringing food up here? Are you carrying it with her thumbs or something? Because she has thumbs. I don't know if you've noticed. Here are her thumbs. Right there, she got two thumbs. Double thumbs. Don't know how to help. She has two thumbs, but she has two thumbs. Cat over here got two thumbs. 
But uh, yes, uh, the decrepits, followed by the drones, have a very similar <coughs> structure to their um, face. Or face. How <laughs> do I explain this? They look similar. Alright. You can assume that, like, maybe it's one of the old ones, and it's just this one's, like, evolved to become this horrifying beast. And don't forget, the demon realm was quite lost. As a matter of fact, hold on, I can actually open up. Because this one, I know where it is. It's pretty easy to get to. Go to JPEG, Delaware.com, special. Now look at the large one. Here's the map of the demon realm. As crude as it is, but it still looks pretty good to showcase everything. Well, actually, I should open up the one that's not enlarged because that one's less, how you say. God damn it. Also, I feel like this. No, 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 no. Get. get oh, for crying out loud. Enlarge this image. There, now we can easily grab that without problems, hopefully. Are we still online? Nope, this is off now. Wonderful, great, fantastic. I am not a professional, folks. There's my excuse. Anyways, this is the map right here of the Demon Room. So far. With uh, everything here being, you know, this is the Sky Shoals. That's the lightning coming down from there. Blood Ocean, Hellscape, Fathomless Caverns, Blood Peaks, Laughter Desert, Dark Beach, Drought Plains, The Void... Crimson Jungle, and there's the Undead Ruin right there. Get with it. So, the Demon Realm is actually quite large. Like, once the map is fully completed, and you'll see how, like, how big it is fully, but the Demon Realm in its entirety is supposed to be, like, the same size as, like, say, take the entirety of the Earth and, like, lay it out. So, in actuality, this is, like, miles away. That's, like, probably a week or two trip on... Not a week or two trip on foot. But this is a lengthy distance away to get over to here. Pretty, very... Pretty far, so to speak. So, falling into here and having to walk, like, hundreds of miles to get over to this point, then hundreds of miles to get over down to here to get to safety, you're most likely going to die before you get to, uh, you know... Dark Beach to get to the Dark Succubus, which, you know, if you want them they, to, they can do some things to you, to, which is, um, you know, sexual. Stop it. Or you could just ask them to take you to your universe, and then, um, boom, you're back home. It was a very treacherous journey. You're probably going to have nightmares or PTSD, but, um, yeah. That's the entirety of the Demon Realm. For now, of course. All right, so, um, pus-filled cyst. Yeah, this one is definitely very strange. Just look at What are you doing, cat? There you are. What do you want to make for? You want to play with a toy while I do this? All right, there she goes. <laughs> Hopefully she'll stop scratching. Now, let's see here. Yeah, we started a little bit before that. It's a good time to start, though. It's a good time to start. I might be able to get this one particular demon done with in a decent amount of time. <laughs> but yes, this thing right here is a very creepy looking spider like demon. It makes sense, most of the undead ruins is mostly spiders, I guess. Otherwise, I could say that department though. <sighs> there we go. Sometimes I'm having a hard time trying to yawn for some reason. Uh, all right. Yes. So, um, yeah, did. Uh, yeah, I had a, had a particular story in mind that I wanted to tell, but I forgot what it was. Oh, uh, not a story. A weird... Yeah, a weird story. Damn, what was it again? I can't remember. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's fine. 
we do want to get to a point where we can tell a lot of weird stories, but at the same time, we draw a lot. It's not really easy to come up with a bunch of weird stories to talk about without, like, having to take time to think. Besides, we want to try to get this done with quickly so we can get on to Minecraft and try to find a desert. The ruined farms aren't done yet, though. Sadly to say, the base is completed. The functionality of the ruined farm is completed. But, um... There's still a few other things we need to do. Let's consider this like, like a filler arc. So to speak. But broken up into like, you know... Like, one episode here. Filler. Then we go back to canon. Canon Minecraft ROTC edition, imagine. And then we go on ahead and do another filler at some point in the future. Then go back to canon. And so on and so forth until we get to the last filler episode. Which is going to take some time. I mean, um... Well, let me really tell you what the, um, the plan is. <clears throat> so the plan for, you know, the next episode where involving the um, Ruin Farm. We need to get our hands... Our hand, we need to build the... Pillars underneath the, you know, the ruined farm platform areas. Because right now it's just like floating overhead or like connecting to the sides. But um, realistically speaking, you kind of need another pillar there to kind of like let that be a little bit more. Um, how you say? Uh, oh, I should make this go down a bit. Actually, we need another pillar there to allow for us. To have, like, an, I don't know, just, there's no reason to have a pillow there, but I want a pillow there. So we're going to make a pillow there, assume four pillars at that. But we'll do that in a different episode. Maybe after we've gotten, you know, the river set and done. Because we got to find the desert, and that's going to take ages. Like, I don't know where a desert is at this point. We're in the mountain biome. So how the hell are we going to find a desert... When all around us is just mountains and snow. Now, of course, snow is only specific towards the mountains at that height. But, um, obviously, you're not going to be able to find a desert biome if you're in a mountainous region, right? Or maybe you can. Hey, what are you doing? Really? How the hell did you manage to get your toy back? Seriously? Did you really get your toy back here? Yeah, like, seriously, how the hell would she do this? How? Yeah, how the hell did you get your freaking toy there? I thought the ball was going to be less distracting. Apparently not. Oh, God, now I gotta look like trying to get this ball out of here on all these wires. There we go. Take your ball out of there, damn it. How the God damn dust under there. Watch your ass, can I get a drink? Seriously, cat, is that your fur? In my Mepsi? How the hell did you get fur up there? You were short hair. You shouldn't be able to get fur all over the place like that. Well, I got her ball out. I don't even think she realizes that I got the ball out. <sighs> This is why I gotta take the ball back and put it away, because otherwise she's going to get it while I'm in the middle of in the middle of the night while I'm or middle of the day in this case, because of B shift and all that. Middle of the day while I'm sleeping, and then she's gonna wake me up, and I'm going to be angry, and I'm gonna take a, a whole bunch of time trying to get back to sleep. <clears throat> it's annoying trying to get back to sleep. It's annoying trying to sleep in general. I really wish I had an easier time sleeping. Why is sleeping such a pain in the ass nowadays? <clears throat> All right. Um, now for the other part of the leg right here. <clears throat> yeah, this one's a bit more um, weird looking compared. Well, yeah, it is a bit weird looking compared to the other demons in this area. Even the deer one looks relatively normal. Or, well, not really deer, so to speak. Was it a deer? I forgot, was that a deer or was that a horse? I think it was like a horse type uh, demon. Anyway, let me let me double check. I'm looking. I'm looking right now. Oh, yeah, a horse type demon. Hmm. 
But uh, yeah, this one is definitely a weird demon in this area. And it's, this is not like the... Well, okay, I don't know how many demons we're going to have in subregions. It would make sense to have a decent amount of demons in a subregion, you know? All things considered. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> right now we're only keeping up like four, I think. Or not four, five, I think we're going to have for now. Until we get a little bit more demons made in the maiden region. But we'll see what happens. Because I want to get to a point where I, um, you know... And any time I want, I can decide what region I want to work on, instead of having to be forced to work on regions. Some regions will have more demons than others, but, you know, that's fine. Of course, this is going to be a while, though. I don't know what I plan on doing with the demon realm after we finished everything up on the list. But I do want to get to a point where I can just, like, you know... Go on the list here and be like, hmm, I think I'm going to make a demon for this region. And then we make a new demon. Of course, there's still the fact that we made a little, like, at least a couple new demons in each region that we've made so far. But that's fine. That is a good number. At the very least, there we, like, get those done with or get the ones that we wanted to get drawn for a while done with first. It's not like there's too much we can do, you know? Yeah, this this thing is strange looking. I'm gonna play it like right here or something. Ooh. Okay, I don't think I have this thing's color swatch, but I think I can grab the decrepit's color swatch and utilize that. <clears throat> Demon realm. Uh, let's see, undead ruins, demons, and okay, I'll take the decrepit's colors here. It should be yeah. Here's the skin. What about you? You're a different color. Okay, good, great, fantastic. Get rid of this, this, and this. And now we got the skin. Awesome. But first, let's make the mask, shall we? I do feel as though that this needs to be a little bit bigger. Kind of. Maybe more wider as well. We can adjust the mask. Everything here is pretty much set. Now let's just adjust some things here and there, just because. It's got to be a certain, like shape to it, you know? I do think this needs to be bigger than X, so we're going to do that. I forgot what these things do to you, though. It's a deadly screech and sprints at the intruders. Uh, Girl sprint towards... Wait. But when it detects something different around uh, the region, and the drone will sprint towards the entity, or the whatever intruder is there, and rip it apart with all four of its hand legs. So yes, it does have hand legs. <sighs> yep, yeah, okay. So that's what it does. It just rips you apart. Yeah, that makes sense. It does indeed make sense. Kind of want to make the mask a bit bigger. Try to, like, move the mask down a bit, actually. But, uh, yes, this thing is uh, very, very creepy. It makes a deathly screech sound as it sprints towards you at breakneck speeds. Right now, what color is your mask? You have a very rough, gruff mask type. Don't tell me you got your ball stuck behind her again, cat. What are you looking at? You get your ball stuck behind her again? Are you on the screen? No, you're not. What are you looking at? Now she's All right, uh, back to it, folks. I think that's a good color for the mask. Doesn't exactly matter too much now, does it? Okay, neck. <clears throat> Whoops. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the cyst hive, or cyst, fur cyst, the furry cyst. Yeah. All right, um, I'm just gonna call it body. All right, that's good. Fur. I'll probably go on ahead and do um, 
Um, maybe like a matted fur texture or something. Doesn't exactly matter too much. Oh, she got her ball back. Or maybe it was never under there, and she just wanted to go behind the TV for some reason. Why does this feel like it's a little bit off? That's gonna be it. That's because it is a little bit off. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. And there she goes again, going berserk. Oh, keeps her occupied, I guess. All right, so, um... I have to have some weird story that I remember off the top of my head. Without having to look at the list, I have to have some weird story. What the hell? What is this crap doing here? Some freaking plastic they can't probably grab from the trash. Again. Because I can't even get a jack in the lid, no. This is an old trash can that we're using. The one we had upstairs, we got it replaced. And this was inside a laundromat. Well, a place where the dogs couldn't get to unless you opened the doors getting into it. There's a pretty small laundromat too, Rob. Um, when you open up like this little closet looking thing, you know, you see like a washer, a drying machine. You have to like literally squeeze in between the freaking washer and drying machine just to be able to get to the goddamn, what do you call it? Trash in there. Man, whoever built this house must have been inebriated. Whoever built this house must have been a monkey. Because, no, no, that, that's, that's, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? That is, um, bashing upon monkeys? I'm pretty sure a monkey could freaking do better than whoever the hell built this house. Ugh. Man, we, got an, we got an even worse bathroom, too. Like, seriously, how could you get so bad at designing a freaking bathroom? The shower is where a freaking window is, even though the window is, like, you know, you can't even see through it. it what's the word I'm looking for? It's like, it, it looks like it's been blurred by a thousand percent or something. Like, um, you can see shadows, but that's basically it. <clears throat> and, and, like, it's, it's worse than that. Like, I can I, I do a little diagram, so... Here's the size of the bathroom. All right, okay. Here's the shower. Here's the toilet area. Here's the sink. Maybe a little bit more. And then here's the door. And here's me. No, okay, not that big. Not that small. Here's me. Probably about like right here, stomach-wise. We're talking about like arm's length. I probably wouldn't be able to do this without running into that. It's a very shitty bathroom, and whoever built it needs to get their frickin' balls ripped off and burned. While still connected, so they could still feel it, of course. No, but seriously, whoever built that was, was such an idiot. I, I swear to God, I, like, I hope you're listening to this, because you do not know how to build a house properly. This house, designed the house, you, you designed a shitty house, all right? Shit your backyard, and even shit your front yard. You've designed what I would have to consider to be one of the worst modern-looking houses. And it's not even a house. It's a literal freaking sister house. I feel like you could have just turned this into a house and just break down the walls and have it be like an actual decent-sized house. No, you decided that this was the way to go. You decided that this was the way. This is how it's supposed to be. No, your decisions is completely, com utterly false. And this is coming from somebody who built a freaking house in my mountains, uh, in Minecraft, and whose house is a hell of a lot better. I would rather live, if there was internet, I would rather live in that house than this one. I mean, then again, that's my own design, and I have more freedom, less budget. Nobody's coming to collect taxes from you in Minecraft. <laughs> Funny enough. Yep. Did I tell you life is about something like some other thing? Death and taxes? Well, in Minecraft, that's, there's no taxes. There's no taxes in Minecraft because we are the only cat in the world. Matter of fact, 
we, we are basically like the rulers of the, the ruler of the land over here. Killing everything that gets in our way and um, basically just building an empire. That's what we are. We are the cats. Nobody can tax the cats. Nobody will do any of that because the cat over here will just take its sword, destroy you, and then probably use your corpse as loot for something. I don't know. With the villagers, it doesn't really like make much of a difference. The same thing kind of applies to villagers too. Not like they have like a civilization, but they don't pay any taxes. In fact, what the hell kind of civilization do the villagers have? Because they don't like. They, it doesn't look like they have any form of like um, you know tax collectors. They're literally just a bunch of merchants doing their thing and they're making stuff, enjoying their trades, selling stuff and getting emeralds. But where does that emerald go? Hmm? We don't see anybody collecting taxes. We don't see any big villager buddy collecting a bunch of taxes. We just see a bunch of villagers trying to help each other out by trading goods. That's it. Of course, um, we haven't come across an actual village yet, and I have a funny feeling that I'm going to come across a dead village, where there's only zombie villagers instead. I don't believe we have any beetroot seeds, which is something we're going to need when we get to the point where we make our um, agricultural part of the house. The beetroots are going to be needed for a bunch of red dye. And the cat's playing with the trash can now. We literally got two trash cans here. One automated that's too small for me to even use. And one that's big. I'm kind of in the way half the times. I mean, it covers up like that and quite nicely. Fits in there quite well. Although this freaking bed frame is falling apart. We really need to get a new one. I'm wondering if that's also another reason why I'm freaking losing sleep. Like... A few reasons. One, this bed frame is falling apart, barely held together by physics at this point. Two, the place I work at, the factory, is a vibrating machine, keeping me vibrating all throughout the day. Or three, I all the stuff. Oh, four. That's four actually. Three, all of this stuff that I'm doing and doing it late into the night, making it more difficult for me to, uh, you know fall asleep. Or four, I have so much on my plate that I'm so stretched out and I can't even get to sleep because of this adrenaline rush that never ends. I don't know, man. If I had a choice, I would choose to do this for a living, obviously, even if it doesn't get me a crap ton of money. Ugh. I would prefer to do stuff like this. Create worlds people can get invested in. Uh, I, do I do wonder, though, People of the future, because we're not getting any views as it stands right now. If I haven't ha made the idea yet, what do you guys think about body pills involving my OC, my characters? Characters like Moon, Nakato, and Violet. All those girls and stuff. I'll like, even make like a safe for work one with one of the trucker guys and like, you know, those, those lumberjack pajamas or something. Just like sitting there, like... Or laying there like this, slippers on. I don't know. We got the sexual side with the girls, but we got the wholesome side with the older men. I don't know, like the marketing in that department. Although there's probably gay men out there who want uh, body pills involving guys, so we could probably make one of um, Levi, the um, the black-haired Sasuke-looking character I made, who was apparently hinted at being Claire's dad. Because of the eyes and the stuff that they have there, right? But uh, yeah, that's a, that's a thought. Uh, don't you think? Maybe y'all want to get invested in that at some point. Just support me and uh, everything I do. Maybe I don't know. It would be helpful to be able to make some money. Patreon's a good first step, but you know, there's gotta be other ways I can make money until Patreon fully like starts up. Well, fully, it's already starting up, but it's taking ages to get any actual patrons. I'm still making drawings there, even if it's only for two people, I'm still gonna make it. Gotta keep up the, um, persistency. Consistency. Persistent consistency. Because if I don't do that, well, people aren't going to want to, um, describe, uh, 
become patrons knowing that, oh, he just gave up after a while. I'm glad I didn't do this thing. Well, you know, that's kind of a stupid mentality now that I think about it because you th- presume you've dodged a bullet, but you not supporting a creator, and because of not supporting them, they had to, like, you know, stop, you know, creating there because they couldn't, like, keep up with... I mean, we only got two per month, so it's not that bad. In this instance, I can sacrifice one drawing for a week in this department if I wanted to, like, um, you know, fulfill the quota for Patreon. At least Patreon has more of a obligation. DVR, slightly less so, same with YouTube, but I still want to kind of keep a consistent schedule of two drawings a week for DeviantArt and then whatever normal drawings made in that week goes to Twitter and Instagram and two Minecraft videos a week. Even if I'm not getting any progress in any departments, I'm still going to keep it up because one day it will change. Who knows? It could change at some point. Like I said before, long videos are going to be the future soon. <laughs> Imagine. Could you imagine? But I'm going to keep sticking with this until I get to a point where I you know, can get my hands on some good old-fashioned editing software. That doesn't cost like a crap ton of money. Even though there's probably some out there for free, I just don't know like which ones to get. But, um, yeah. We are still going to create. Even if no one's watching, I'm still creating. DeviantArt is a really good, um, like, motivational, like, instance because of the fact that we have, like, almost a thousand watchers. We got a lot of watchers, actually. Oh, let me swoop on... What was that? Something else. Let me swoop on over to a new tab here. I have exactly 964 watchers. 964. And, um... It keeps rising. I gotta say, doing mature drawings like twice a row now has really been helping me get more watchers. Even though most of them are probably not gonna be here for, like, normal art. Like, um... At the very least, uh, whoops, hold on, Nova Guardians is doing pretty good for itself, at least in, like, the viewing department. Uh, episode 3 has 3K so far. I think it's closing in on 2K soon, or 4K, I mean. Episode 2 has 9K views, right? And, uh, did I favorite this one? No, I didn't. You guys can't see it, but that's fine. And episode one has 16K. Episode one obviously has a lot, because that's been here for the longest time. But yes, this uh, the series at least has a bunch of people viewing it. Probably not all from my watcher base, obviously, but at least a decent amount of people are still viewing the series. I don't know if, like, a lot of people are going to be sticking around for that, obviously. But I'm going to keep going. Even if we get to a point where we only get 1K per episode, I'm going to keep going. Because I want to fulfill the the entire series. Plus, it could be... It, it might be 3K now, but later down the road, it might become 20K. Well, episode 1 becomes 100K. How it, but, um, you know... It doesn't hurt to keep on trying. It's not like anything is going to happen at the department. Ugh. So, um, this one's going to be a bit tricky to do because we don't exactly have, like... How did I do the skin here again? Hold on, where's the decrepit? There it is. I'm going to look at it from here. Okay, yeah, the decrepit has a... Pretty much cracked skin here. All right, easy enough. Easy enough. We could just make this entire thing cracked. It's cracked, man. It's cracked. It's so cracked. Yeah, there we go. I think this one we have to make more fur-like. God, these weird, these weird spider-looking demons, though. It really does make me wonder how the hell my brain comes up with these particular demons. <laughs> Which is fine, though. Not being restricted by, you know, my, not having my creativity restricted, it really comes up with some strange-looking demons. 
Sometimes I wish I had a more, you know, like, freestyle instead of, like, everything being kind of um, precise and, like, connected. I don't know how to explain Like, Like, a style that looks like it's a painting. I mean, yeah, my style is, like, unique at the very least. And I do like the um, persistence in having everything be cleaner. But some things don't need to be clean, you know? And I just don't know how to actually do that yet. I've drawn for, like, how many years have I been drawing actually? Let me look. I think this still shows how long I've been doing this. If I go to the about section. Six years, but that's... I started this in August, and I drew... Started drawing since, um... February? Late February? We've been drawing for seven years. In Photoshop. Oh, yeah, mind you. Photoshop's completely different. In school... I've been drawing a bunch on notepads, but now that we've, you know, we're out of school, and now that we don't really have anything else in that department, we decided to do Photoshop. I'm kind of glad that I did do this, though, because this does open up for a lot of opportunities down the road. When will those opportunities come? Patience. Even though I hate working in this place, I need patience. Hard to get patience, though, when this company doesn't want us to live our life outside of this place. But, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. But yeah, the, um, the entirety of um, these seven years, I've been honing my skills as best as I could. And I'd say I got to like a decent point. Some of these drawings in the Demon Realm department are simplistic, but that's because we're replicating demons from the past, like, probably like, what, two, or two years in? So like... I think five years ago, maybe less so than that. I mean, I can look at this. I'm looking at this particular thing right here. This was in 2017, July 6th. When did I start this exactly? Was it 16? I could look, but I don't know if I want to. Um, hold on. I'm going to go, s I highly doubt that I renamed that, or at least put a hashtag to Aerie. Wait, I could go here actually. Yeah, right here. In this department, 2015! Mm. So it was 2015, February 22nd, 2015. That's when I started doing Photoshop. And I'm going to sh You probably already have seen this, seen this, but this is the first drawing I ever did in Photoshop right where the hell here. The first drawing I ever did, Ari, the Midnight Demon Girl. And uh, I'm going to show you the up-to-date variants, which was a variant here. And this is what she looks like now. I mean, that was still like a while ago. This looks a hell of a lot better. You've seen my skills improve. You've seen it firsthand from this right here. Well, not this specifically, but you've seen it through all the videos that I've made of me drawing, at the very least. But, uh, yeah... Yeah, we've um we've been doing this for a while now. And that was like in that was literally seven years ago. A little a little under seven years ago that one drawing. But that drawing with Ari as of recent okay, why did I delete get rid of that? You saw that, that was in like 2015, the first drawing. Um god damn it. Ari. I think I called her Ari Ari. And this was made in 2021, March 13th, which is, um, well, that was like a little, so a little over six years, right? Because, you know, obviously we're talking about like February 22nd. So that was a six year difference. I can actually do this. Hold on. Um, uh, do this. No, 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 don't you burn. And okay, I could have made this bigger. So, whoops, so uh, as you can clearly see, all right, seriously, god damn it, right here, I think, maybe a little bit over here, and right over here. Okay, there we go, now you can see it. This 
compared to this six years in between differences. Huge difference. This was when we started the drawing. We didn't even use a pen tool at that point. This, a hell of a lot of improvements. You see what, this is actually a good example right here, folks. If you are, you know, if your drawings don't look like they're turning out as well as they could, don't worry. Look at that. And look at those two images I showed you. Because before in the past, I didn't, wasn't that good at that time. Utilizing a new um, drawing technique as opposed to using pencils. In this department, digital art's really good because it does open up a lot of opportunities. Might be difficult to actually get to those opportunities, but they're there. I just gotta grab onto them somehow. It's hard to do so because life just keeps trying to swap them away from me. Alright, um... Yeah, we could probably make this part a little bit darker. Same with this. Well, yeah, folks, we've been doing this for over seven years now. Seven years drawing and working in this crappy job for three years. I gotta get to a point where I can start doing this. Damn cat fur everywhere. Doing this for three years and making more money. If, I mean, it's possible. Like I said, um, if we want to make more money than what we're making here right now in this job, I need to acquire at least a little over 355 patrons every month in order for me to reach to a point where I can quit this current job and do this full time. Obviously, every single drawing I make on DBNR is going to link to my Patreon. So every drawing is like uh, advertisement. Despite the fact that it's not really being advertised, like you would think. All right, so this thing is going to be walking around. There's going to be like a, I don't know, maybe a, a pillar here perspective bit. We're making a pillar right here because somebody, somebody confused the, um, one of the pillars for a Mario pipe and thought the decrepit was like an alternate universe Goomba. Like, really? If that, was an, if that was a Goomba, then that would be... Mario would be a completely different game. Could you imagine Mario, but it's a horror game instead of a platformer? Or a horror platformer? They should try to do that, actually. I feel like for, like, October release, they should make a Mario horror game. Where, like, I don't know. It's basically... Like, think of it like a the Super Mario 64 style kind of deal where you're in a haunted house in this instance and you get to go through paintings again, kind of like, you know, nostalgic. But then you're going through this area and a whole bunch of the enemies that you have taken on in the past are now these monstrosities. Now, obviously, they, they still probably are going to make it a kid's game, quote-unquote, is Mario considered a kid's game? Because really, it's kind of a game that everybody can play. It's, you know, monetized a bit. Uh, obviously, it's the kind of game that's, you know, family-friendly, but it's not really a kid's game in a sense. Although, I don't know what the ERS or whatever the hell they're called. ERSB? DRS? Something, something. EA Sports, it's in the game? I don't know. But uh, yeah, they could do something like that. Like, uh, the enemies look a little bit more terrifying, but still family-friendly enough. So it's not, like, you know, completely scarring the kids. But uh, yeah, that'd be cool. If they just made, like, a spin-off Mario game that's still a platformer. But, um, doubt that will happen. I doubt that will happen. Alright, so, um... This guy is going to be going down a bat path, kind of. Hard for me to say, really. I should do this, actually. Do this. I, I could actually just do this. Wait, did I? Uh, I did the thing again where I didn't put it in the background. I'm like, fine, I'll just delete the background path and rename this as the background. All right, Pelinhead. 
I'm gonna need you to do a little bit of this to make it look like you're going in that direction. It makes this a little bit wider or something, I don't know. I should put in some boulders as well. I want to get to a point where I get to remake this region soon. But I don't know when that's going to be. It's got to be soon. Um, by the time we get to the point where we actually, like, you know, finish up all these regions, we're going to have two more left that will be going into the next limitation period. When is that, you may ask? Hmm... I'm theorizing it around maybe late September or early September. Early September to early August. That's my estimates. I don't know when the hell that's going to happen. I have no clue when. Like, the only thing that's like preventing me from... Oh, wait, I accidentally changed the opacity. Right, I forgot. I got to go back to number slot for this. And I forgot I usually turn number the number pad thing off number log, yeah, the num log, so that I am able to, um, you know, not worry about accidentally pressing 1 and ending a Minecraft video so soon. Which is not what we want, because we lack the ability to trim together videos at the current moment, unfortunately. Mainly the reason why we can't edit anything. I gotta f try to figure out editing software at some point. I'm probably not going to use it that much, not that extensively anyways. Because let's be honest, there's a certain charm to being able to make lengthy ass videos that people can just like put in the background and just watch, or not watch, but like listen to as they do other things. You know? That's the kind of videos I want to make for now. If I get to a point where I do think that, all right, I, I think I could get into editing a little bit, then yeah, I'll do that. But as it stands right now, I lack the software for it. I could probably get it, but not now. Not now, not yet. Let's just, let's hold off on it a little bit until we get to a certain point. And YouTube. What are you doing, cat? I'm not going to hold off on stuff like cameras and, you know, better, um microphone, but at the moment, um, money is tight. Inflation is kind of a bitch right now, apparently. I don't exactly know what's going on behind the scenes of everything. I don't know why everything is more expensive. It's kind of stupid, really. There's, it feels like there's no need for things to be this expensive. Why is it, though? Uh, I don't get it. I don't get life anymore. We've gotten to a point where we just know that everybody in this godforsaken place is just going to pull some nonsense off. Yeah, I'm making like paths here in this part. There probably aren't going to be paths all over the place. I think the best way I can describe this is it's another area in the region, of course. Um, is this what I want it to be? I want it to be a little bit thinner. I'll probably maybe a little bit thinner. All right, like right here. I don't want to go too hectic on this department, though, so let's try to be reasonable, shall we? All right, have that do this, and then we'll do this. And boom. We might be able to do the same thing here. Well, first, let's at least finish this up. Because this is a little bit further away, eh, it's not that far away, but I think this is fine. Some buildings should have certain, like, looks to it. But um, to make things more simplistic for us, we're not going to go too heavy on the detailing portion. At least in this area. Uh, maybe like this here for this. We've done background work a lot. But sometimes I just, you know, want to do a little quick doodle. How long have we been doing this? Not even an hour. Good timing, though, to make. Good timing, indeed. All right, we can definitely put something back here. Um, no, no, no. Okay. I'll do this instead. I'll make squares. Boom. Another square. Boom. Third square. Boom. And there you have it. Simple, ses uh, simple setup, 
I almost said system. I don't know why I almost said system. Uh, simple setup. Nothing too complex. This should be good. Now, blue ruins. I remember the color scheme I used for this. Now I got like three blue ruins, but I think one of them is the interior. Yeah. The edge, then the interior. I'm going to do the walls here first. Boom. I'll do both sides, actually. I do wonder what I could add in this area. Like, we don't even have paths, so we should definitely, um, here. Again, stop it. We should definitely try to figure out what we want to do for that apartment. Um, let's see. <sighs> pillars, pillars, pillars. Do we have pillars here? Grass, no, that's rocks. Low hanging fog. Let's not forget about the low hanging fog, of course. Um, I could just open up the, the crepid drawing and re remember. Yeah, the, the interior there, that rim there. Right. Okay, I remember now. So that would mean that you are that, while well, you. We might not even need that because the ring isn't being shown, so I think we're fine. Whoops, wrong one. So long as the drawing doesn't look half-assed, then it's fine. This is about as far as I can take it for what I have for like showing in a drawing. This is why I can't wait to get to a point where all the demons on the list are drawn, because then I'll be able to do my own ideas, add as many details as I want, and then boom, there's a demon. We already made the remake of these areas. We don't need to make more demons in there, because they already, you know, have been made. And then once we've done that, boom, things will look a lot nicer. But for now, of course, while we still have these these demons to draw, it's not going to look as detailed as I would like for them to look. But that's fine. I'm trying to make them look as good as I can with the skills that I have currently. And I'd say with the skills that I have currently and with what little design I gave to them in that one drawing, I'd say it still looks pretty good. Besides, we need to... Make another Minecraft page today. Because I have a bigger drawing to make later on this week. I.e. most likely tomorrow. Really, really try to make this look a little bit more rounder. <sighs> Whoa. Wagway! Wagway! I guagua mean. I always imagine the cats saying guagua. And usually the cats have that baby-esque voice, like the voice I just made before. So I usually say, wah, wah, to the cat's face. I don't think she understands what that means, but deep down, I think she knows. And she felt that. Did you felt that? No. And she just did that. And I'm like, I can't replicate your voice, cat. How do you get your voice that high? Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're an ass. You're the is right here. Move down, you fool. I do want to try to get uh, many different types of windows in this department. Windows. Hey. Stop scratching shit. Ashware, if, if we can get to a new house, we need to, like, install, like, a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. We need to install, like, a whole bunch of wall scratching posts. Just, like, I don't know, like, a, replace a corner like that there. All of the scratching post board, a long scratch post board. And have it all over the place. So that you can scratch those and not scratch everything else. Now we try to trim our claws, but with a, another one of those fancy claw trimmers, so it just shaves it down instead of cuts it. Because, A, I don't like the idea of trying to cut my cat's claws. 
because she's going to be upset, and I'm going to be upset. It's the same way as like trying to give her medicine. I just don't like trying. I just don't like seeing her being upset. Like that. It's fine trying to hold her and trying to get her to do stuff because it's all harmless fun and games. And then she goes back and nudge me. But you have to give her medicine or have to trim her claws, and she's probably going to be real angry, and it's going to make me sad. Where's your ball at, cat? Why don't you play with your damn ball? Uh, cat, seriously? Right here, whoops, here is the path. I'm gonna put that near the, gr uh, the, the dirt here. All right now I need to make the darkness in the sky. Stop it. Oh god, so tired. It really is annoying being this freaking tired. Stop it! Seriously, get away! Trying to move the bed so she stops doing the thing that she's doing. All right, so um, grass. All right, that part's easy enough. <clears throat> Do I have the pillars above that? Yes, I do. Okay, so I can just put some grass. There she goes. Uh, stop distract uh, distract distracting distracting me, cats. You need to be calm and quiet. Go back to sleep. This is the not the, the color I wanted at all. Okay, here we go. Yeah, looking back. Hold on, let me look back at the decrepit again. Yeah, there's not like a, a whole lot of grass there. There's still grass. It's not a crap ton. Put some grass here. 200 here. Let's go to 150 around here. 100 here. I Wait, I did put rocks there, did I not? Yeah, a bunch of stones and stuff. 100 here, 250 here, up it above the rocks. Now I need to go... Well, actually, yeah, let's go in deeper because we're going to work on this area soon. Um, 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 yeah, right here. More grass. Probably going to have to not have that go in further. Frog. All right, now for this part of the grass over here, here, here around, make this 50, go on the pillar, but stay with the walls. That's the only annoying thing when it comes to making grass with like layers like this. It makes sense though, Not like why it'd be annoying. Trying to put all that stuff in and all that. At least this one is relatively simplistic. Not too much that we have to worry about. Not too much that needs to be, like, focused on. Just enough to be able to fully get this to where it needs to be gotten to. And now there's the rocks. We do have all of the colors here for that, correct? Yeah. I usually... Honestly, I don't remember when I usually do the, the rock placement aspect. You get stop scratching shish all right i need you to not rotate a bunch have this go out okay so rocks rocks all over the place dwayne rock johnson all over the place, right here, right now. A little bit here. Here, stop it. Don't give me that. Sounds like a freaking quank noise. All right, let's see. Let us see for a second. I wanna have this be a bit rocky. So I'm going to now go on ahead and connect these. Stop it. 
like, well, okay, maybe not by 20, but, well, if that's the case, you need to scatter more, I guess. Go out a little bit more. Shoop. I could probably try to move this out a bit. What is your problem, chat? Why are you making those noises at me? You want me to try to give you attention while I'm busy? Well, I'm gonna give you attention if you could just sit on my lap. will not have to worry about goddamn being distracted by you. God, what have we been doing so far? And we're close to done, which is nice. I knew this wasn't gonna take too long, especially if I was gonna go for a more simplistic approach as opposed to more complexities. I mean, there's still a decent amount here. Like, it's nothing to snuff at, that's for certain. All right, um, now it's time for us to, sh okay, I need you to, oh, I also need you to not be on caps lock mode. If you didn't know, caps lock mode does, wait, where is it? All right, look, look on this guy's nose. I don't know if you can see that on his nose right here. That's what caps lock does. Useful in some occasions, but not all the time. Like, um, it's good to want to have this here so you know how much you're working with and how big the space is. Sometimes if you need to have the caps lock for something that's too small to work with, oh, that's grass. Um, I guess I can do that to the grass layer. What is your ish, cat? Oh, wait, I didn't even finish that one story I was talking about with the coach in that one mega episode. Mm, kind of got distracted now, didn't I? Yeah, that happens a lot. No, don't worry. I'm not going to continue it here. I could probably... No, no. Trying to tell a story in Minecraft is difficult because most of the tasks that we are doing requires more thought process than drawing. Oh, I feel like... Oh, for creepers... Look out for mobs in general and be careful not to, you know, fall and die of fall damage. More to look out for here, eh? Stop it. Maybe we could try to blend this in a little bit more. Why not? Why not? Doesn't really matter too much. Pathway here. Blend that in a bit here, a little bit more here. Definitely some here, 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 and uh, down here. Make some brightness here and there, maybe a little bit here. Doesn't matter too much, I guess, but um, I'm trying to get some consistency going. I mean, like the ground, make it a little bit lighter. Okay, all right, uh, what left? What next, you may ask? The walls, of course. And we have the wall, okay, hold on, hold on. Pay attention to where it's at, right here, right now, pay attention. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. The cat jumped in a litter box, that's what the noise was. I know you probably don't like having to jump over your litter box, cat, but until you stop kicking your litter out of the damn litter box, this is the way it has to be. Ugh, Christ. Ugh, Christ and a Chrysler 3000. I wonder if there's a meme of that. Alright. I'm probably not spelling that right. You're not showing me the meme. Nobody's made the meme yet. Chrysler 300 meme. <laughs> Jesus Chrysler, right, of course. But we should, we should start using that more. Jesus Chrysler. I don't know. I think that's the car we have. I don't remember. What are the car person, you see? Hey... <laughs> Don't you scratch that now. Just sideways, colossal titan. On that day, Cat Manatee was given a grave reminder to stop scratching everything in sight. 
And I know you're still on there. There she goes. Freaking Christ, cat. She just, she doesn't start, she's just constant distraction. She's like a consistent part of our videos right here. Constantly doing stuff and being a little nuisance. All right, um, now for the walls back here. I definitely do want to add a hell of a lot more to the Undead Ruins and their structures. But for now, we're going to keep it simplistic. When it comes time to when we need to actually, you know, give these full-on designs, make an actual city temple area. Because um, what we have currently is simplistic, which is good to an extent, but I kind of want to make it a little bit more complex. Like an actual city to like look back on and reference more extensively. Think of these like kind of like the deep rooms or the back rooms. I mean, not deep rooms, but more outdoors like. And you can go inside the buildings. And there are demons all over the place. Although the Undead Ruins isn't like completely procedurally randomized. There is, like, reasons behind it. It's not like a surreal structure, as you would think. And like I said before, in previous drawings with the Undead Ruin demons, um, there was a, a race of demons who used to be, like, you know, living here, civilized, and stuff like that. Stop. I smacked your butt. But she takes that as an invitation to play an attack instead of an actual negative consequences. What are you looking at? I'm trying to give you negative reinforcement so you stop doing stuff. And now you're purring. That's doing the opposite of what I need you to do, which is realize you're doing something bad, chat. I don't know what else to do. Wow, um, that dirt really blended in quite nicely. Stop it. Grab you and push you over here. <laughs> what are you doing? I've seen attack mode. You want to be in attack mode, cat? Yeah, attacking and purring. It's not getting the point across. She's not learning. She's just going back and doing the same thing. Feel again. All right, let's see. I'm going to add some cracks to the pillar outside of just like, you know, the regular lineups. I think most of this is cracked anyways. These walls are cracked. Man, we're almost done. Damn. Talk about a quick drawing. I mean, we're going as simplistic as we can on this one, but it's a quick one. It's been a while since we've had a quick drawing, or a quick video in general. Most of everything has been quite lengthy as of recent. This is good. But at the same time, a short one is a good one to do as, as well on, from time to time. Stop it. You could try to like separate these sometimes. But having it all in one part does seem like a better idea. Stop. Don't give me that look, cat. You know what I want you to not do? Okay, why am I doing that? Let's make this three and make the rocks here a little bit more crazy. A little bit more bottom. Some on here as well. I think we could try to do some textual work here. So it doesn't like, you know, look all the same. Something like that. Okay, go in a little bit. Do a little bit more cracked work here. Yeah, we gotta get like some moss and like some other kind of types of stuff in this department. But we'll do that when we remake the entire region. Of course, stop it. Look okay, at this one, we don't have a lot in the way of moss. It's just a bunch of cracked stuff. I think we should get some moss in here. Wait a minute, I got an idea. Let me look at a previous drawing of a heck. How long have we been? One, oh, okay, like literally like an hour and almost 10 minutes. 
We literally had the shading and texturing part. Let me see if I can expand this a little bit more. Where was, ah, uh, stop it. Where was the heck this again? What was it called again? Heck. Heck. All right, g give me the uh, demon realm thing. What were you called again? You so bitch heck kiss. Right. Okay. I'm gonna do some of this stuff off camera for a second. I got like 14 demons left to draw after this. Heck tis. With the C. Stop it. Where are you at? Album 16. Alright. Yeah, album 16. Yeah, this one has a bunch of uh, cobwebs and stuff, right? I can show you it here, actually. Open up. Also, did I accidentally just like that? No, we're still fine. Although this... Okay, I can't do the thing there. Yeah, you can't see me opening all this. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Son of a... <laughs> right. You do this. What? Why'd you go closer, Cadillac? You should nudge the cat back. Cat don't know what to do if you nudge them back. Right, back to this. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to replicate right here. So, um, how am I going to do this, you may ask? I'm probably just going to, like, make a separate thing here. Call it whips or hectus whips. I'm not going to draw the hectus, but I'm going to draw webs here. And maybe have a tree back here. This one's going to be a little bit of tricky, though, to draw. Because these guys have, like, a weird web. If I am hissing at you, what are you going to do about it? Alright, heck, tis webs. So I need you to do this. Um, looking back at the drawing of the Hectus. Yeah, this was before we had like a certain swatch. A certain type of, uh, what do you call it? So, um, I guess we can still use that. So, 10, 10. Okay. I mean, not 10, 10. Well, first of all, I need to put this in a different one. So, hit this web. Second of all, you need to be 20, 20. No, not 220. Well, use this for like the starting point of the web, of course. But we shall use this for the remainder. I got 50, do a little bit of that, do a little bit of this. And now, um, put this at like 20 or something. Smaller. Well, I guess we, well, how would that work if we do inverse? I don't know if that's going to work as well as I think. That's eh, fine. It doesn't exactly matter too much. There we go. It's a little bit smaller for this part here. Strange looking webs up top. Is that not? Let me do a little bit more down here if we can. Some off to the sides as well, you know. And it's just like a whole bunch of webs coming off the side. Fuzzy webs, almost. Um, d wait, did we show... Yeah, I think the trees in this area... Let me go back to the decrepit again. I think I was... Yeah, the trees here, I believe... I was making... Oh. 
Wait, right, the trees here are not that. Right, never mind. I was thinking of something else. Unless I want to have... I could do that. Hold on, I'm going to save this swatch here. I'm going to go over to the Crimson Jungle swatch. Over here. No, wrong one. There we go. And I'm going to A. What are you doing? What are you trying to get? Is there an insect on a wall? Do I got to kill an insect? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. All right, I need you. And now, where are the tree leaves? Leaves? Ah, here, leaves. Good, great, fantastic stuff. All right, leaves. Consider this. No, no, no. A hundred, a hundred. Not where we are currently. Not that big, small enough to make it look like that the Crimson Jungle is close, but not close enough. Yeah, you know what I mean? At the very least, it makes it look as though that um, we're close to the edge, but not too close. To be honest with you, I don't know how close this would be. Oh yeah, look at that. The webs are now more prominent now, thanks to these here Crimson Jungle Tree leaves. <clears throat> All right, a little bit more up here. And I should cover that part. If we want to do this properly, we should go on ahead and shade in these here. Just a little bit. You don't need too much shading now. Yeah, and that's the thing about the Crimson Jungle and the Undead Ruins. The sky is completely pitch black. You can't see the sky shoals, you can't see the space abyss, and you definitely can't see a lament. Got a bunch of dust in my phone, cat, really? How the hell do you keep tracking this much dust and stuff? Damn it. Here we go again. Okay. So there's at least a, a good, quick, basic drawing. All right, now let's go on ahead. I'm going to go back to um, basic swatch again. Let's start working on a shadowing process right now, shall we? Shadow and lighting. Oh, wait, I forgot about the fog, right? The ambient fog. Okay, well, that's easy enough, actually. Um, well, the clouds, I have to say. So take me back. I need to go back, apparently, because I forgot about this apartment. The fog texture. Where are you? There you are. Okay, good, great, fantastic. Are you? Okay, I'll bring this back to this, and now we're going to make the fog. Fog up front first, so that I can cover up this stuff with ease. The pillar's going to be added into the front, obviously. And now uh, let's lower that, go over to here, and clouds. We'll keep it at 300 for this part, but bring it down to 200 for this part right here. 150 for this part right here. And now that we're over here in this particular apartment, stop it. Stop meowing at me. You know I don't want you to do that. Don't give me that look. Man. Pointing at you now. Shall be a little quiet bitch, baby. Alright, some more fog over here in the back. Because why not? Make it a little bit more thicker because it's further away. Got a bit of food still stuck in my mouth. There it is. Okay, great, fantastic. There be the fog. Or the clouds, I'd say. Now let's work on a shadow, shall we? What is your problem, cat? What's your major malfunction? Whoops. Press the number four. And there she goes. Playing with some random object she found on the floor. 
Really, Cat? Really? What are you playing? Where's your ball? Seriously? Where the hell are your ball at? Why don't you play with that? Did you lose it again? Why do you keep losing these things? Why, why is this cat such a trash man sometimes? All right. Try to get this to be a little bit more consistent with everything. It'll be too easy, but we'll try. Stop moving around, you stupid chair. Jesus Christ. Can't just stay in one spot now, can you? All right, a little bit more shading over here. Shading here, down this portion. Some shading here, a little bit, or shadowing here. I get some of this lightly, gently speaking. Okay, that covers the drone shadow portion. Now, of course, for what's this shadow portion? Shadow 1B. Oop. I think that's smaller. I don't think we need to worry about shadows too much here. Um, yeah, let me try to... Uh, about that still seems off. Um... Here, show here, and then get some over here or something. Probably have light, light beaming down here. Probably have light, light beaming down here. Don't forget, there's no like directional lighting too much. It's not like at least a lot of directional lighting. Lighting is consistent on where the bowl balloons reside. I forget exactly what the bowl balloons look like. They're like the jellyfish things, right? And there's a decent amount of them in the space, but it's enough to be able to provide enough light in the demon realm to be able to see, at least in front of you. If there was no light, then trying to get around this place would be hell. Literally hell. For humans and demons, but I'm sure the demons would be adept to it at that particular point. Alright, folks. Time for the fog. We're almost done, which is great because, um, you know, it's not even one o'clock yet. We're gonna take like a little short break, small one, just sit back, relax, then we're going to do a Minecraft video. All right, that's a good color for that. But let's see if we can do something with. No, you fool. Get out of there. Let's see if we can do something with purple. That actually looks pretty good. All right, now we gotta go down. Where down, you may ask? I don't know. Like here or something? Yeah. Fog one, let's see. Yeah, we can do that. And then we can delete the bottom here so this is not being completely overtaken by the purple fog. And I'm going to make this area back here green. Or do I want to make it teal? I think we can get rid of this now. The decrepit has like somewhat what we want here. I don't know, actually. I don't exactly know. I think all that really matters is that we try to get this to look good. Greens, light, uh, teal kind of areas as well. Not similar color scheme to the, um, what do you call it, but at the very least, enough to make it so that it's not going to, um, well, you know, be too much of an issue. Um, yeah, I'm going to go up here, get rid of some of the fog here so that this is more dark. Because why not? Some of the fog here as well. I'll leave the green fog up, I think. Hold on. Is that really fog one day? Seriously? No, there's got to be a different fog there. Let's try to leave some of that untouched. Uh, maybe? Uh, fog 1D, where are you? Where's Fog 1D? There it is. Oh, some of the Fog 1D here doesn't need to really, like, you know, worry about it. It's just, uh, like, the edges here that need to be worried about. All right, good, great, fantastic. 
Yeah, look at how plain it looks without the effects. I'm glad I was able to get effects down to a science. It's basically just experimenting with colors and finding which colors mesh as well with others. And which color works well for a certain scene. It can still be tricky sometimes. Not really much you can do to fix that. Where the hell's the mouse? Um, seriously? What color did he use for this? Light green? Was it this? I guess it doesn't exactly matter. I really do hope it's not going to take ages to try to find a desert in Minecraft. Probably is, let's be honest. Oh, man, it's going to be another long episode, isn't it? Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky and there's a desert like not even 16 chunks away chunks away from our base. Well, 16. Say 20 chunks away from our base. Highly doubt it. That would be nicer. But, um, of course, probably not going to be the case. Probably going to take us a thousand chunks just to find it. Worst case scenario. Eh, probably not going to get down to that. But, um, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going to try to find that desert. Don't worry, folks. We need it. We need the, this desert. If we want to build a greenhouse, we need to find a desert to get cactus. That is the plan. That is the objective. And then after we found the desert, we got to build the transit system off of the, um, what do you call it? The nether hub. That part's going to be a little bit tricky to get right at first, but I think we can manage. Get rid of some of the particles in front of you. All right, now for the shadow rays. Shadow rays, one a. Yeah, every time I look at these when I first draw them, they don't look that good. And then when we once we've added all the um, effects, all the, the textures and stuff like that, they start to look a hell of a lot better. Which is nice, though. I mean, a hell of a lot better than what it would have looked like without the effects and stuff. Without effects, that makes a huge difference. It looks bland, dull, the colors don't mesh well, looks too realistic. But once you've gotten the effects in, boy, it looks great. It looks awesome. Even if it looks plain and not that complex, it still looks pretty good. I mean, there's a few things in here. It's not the most simplest, but it's not the most complex either. And that's what I like to consider a doodle in my department. An hour, almost an hour and a half long doodle. A sketch. This is literally considered a sketch to me. Which is it's really saying something because this looks like a finished product. I don't consider this as anything too massive. I don't like think it's it's not going to get like a crap ton of views it will reach a thousand obviously a thousand's become like the norm for us now there was a time i remember when we weren't even able to get like over like a hundred before or like not even 20 but now we're getting a thousand nice times right here bro nice times it feels good you know feels like actual progress is being made even if there's some artificial stuff going on in the background it does feel like progress is being made and it is a good way to show off that I have been improving and the people have noticed it and is, you know, coming along for the ride. At the very least, it does ring true to just how much DeviantArt has changed, but um, that's probably for the better. All right, lighting here, a little bit of, uh, you know, this kind of lighting color. I want this to kind of have like a green sickly color as well. What, what color is this that I just grabbed? This is literally the light green. Why do I call this teal? Light green area. Teal area. I think because I thought I was grabbing from teal, but then I grabbed too far in one direction. And then, yeah. Now we're going to have some teal up here, I think. Uh, what did that look like again? 
don't remember. I think teal for the walls make the most sense. Yeah, the walls here have like a teal color scheme to them. Um, I'm going to call this light teal, even though it is not light teal. I'm going to have one called uh, dark teal. There we go. Or it could be dark blue. Let's see what dark teal looks like in this area right here. Okay, how about this one? Not too bad, not too bad. We do the same over here, kind of. With the way the shadows kind of go down in that department, in this department. Eh, maybe too much. We could probably try some dark blue now. Dark blue area. Or blue. We'll see what happens. What about dark blue? A little bit of dark blue here as well. There's some dark blue back here and here. Uh, what about that one? Dark blue here, maybe? Nah. Um, how about here? Yeah, a little bit further in inland right here. I should have put some shadow underneath you. I probably could have put some shadow underneath you. Um, the dark blue there looks fine. How about regular old blue? How about this blue? Nope. How about this blue? Nope. This blue part? Nah, it's too bright. Man, this is difficult. Why? Why is it difficult now all of a sudden? If we choose things that are too bright, it looks too bright. And like I said before, this floor is made out of floor. Is that fine? Do I need to make this like an orange? No, that's too bright. Brown? No, that's too saturated. Hmm. I don't know. Light purple. Let's try some light purple in the area. Not that light. How about this light? Kind of. I guess that's good. Have some of it lit up. And I'll rename this to light purple now. Maybe we'll have a purple area somewhere. Purple area. Orple. Where does that mean go? Why he orple? Why orple? I was trying, like you're trying to say Urkel somewhat. Urkel hasn't done anything to tarnish his reputation now, has he? I don't think he has. I don't recall, at least. At least nothing major on the news yet. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Alright, um, I think that's it. Alright, good, great, fantastic. Sepia, nice, nice. Okay, looks like we're about to finish this quite soon. I just gotta figure out what kind of color scheme I want for this. Too bright. How about this one? Too orange, or not orange, deep teal. Green, we could try to go for a green color here. That looks decent, how about this one? Hmm, that also looks pretty good. We'll put that in the maybe pile. Uh, wait, hold on. Well, what about this one? Too dark. Too dark. We're between this and this. This makes it look greener. This makes it look a little less greener. Greener. Less greener. Greener. Actually, I like that one better. Alright, perfect, fantastic, great. I still gotta figure out how I wanna like fully go about making the undead ruins, but for now this looks pretty good. Or doodle at least. Quote unquote doodle sketch. Well there you have it folks. I'm gonna reset everything back to what it needs to be. Real quick like. Man, like an hour, a little over an hour, 30 minutes in. This is pretty good timing. Nice. Alright, so here's the drawing. With effects, without effects. With effects, without effects. Huge difference. All right, folks, we did it. Congratulations, we did it. Yay, a short video, well, it's short, it's still pretty long. Oh, there you go, folks. Any who's in wits, thank you all for joining me on today's video. If you liked it, please consider leaving a like and um, check out that playlist. See you on all the other drawings I've done and saw, see how I made them all. And also subscribe if you want to see more content like this. We got this drawing done with at a pretty quick wait rate. Peace. So without further ado, I leave you off 
with uh, uh, a goodbye. You want to come join it? You started off the video, cat. You want to come join the video one last time? Stretch. Come on. You're not coming? I got a toy for you. A toy right here. Come on, cat. You really want it. Come on. Stop. Stop wait, making the audience wait. Get this mess of a toy of yours. Here, there she is. There you go. You get to see the cat one more time before we end the video. All right. Say bye to them, cat. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. All right, folks. There you go. You got to see the cat one more time. I'll see you all in the next video. Later.